Well, so here's a look at where our temperatures are going after warming up a whole lot on your Wednesday. And they actually dropped down rather quickly on your Wednesday because of the storms and showers that pushed on through. So it rang cold air for you. So throughout the morning hours, it looks like we'll be in the mid-60s, and then we'll warm things right back up into, let's say, the mid to upper 80s once again, and then dropping things down. I think tomorrow night will be a little bit more comfortable than what we're dealing with overnight. So once again, we're tracking a cold front that could potentially bring some showers and storms across the area. This time, though, it looks to be mainly south and east of the area. Those are the best uh, places, locations that you have to be seeing those thunderstorms. Of course, we'll allow for a stray one to make its way through, but I do think that by the time the front pushes through, we're going to be tapping into this air mass, which is going to be less humid and much drier for you to enjoy. So we'll time everything out for you. It does look like, again, we'll keep these guys partly to mostly cloudy overnight. Into the day tomorrow, here are the storms and showers that we're looking at, mainly to the south and to the east of us. Now, as we go into your Friday, you'll notice a ridge of high pressure starting to develop, though. That's going to keep you dry. And I do think Friday will be a mainly dry day, of course, with all the instability and in our temperatures once again getting into the 80s with the sunshine. We do have to allow for a couple then to be popping up. But I do think Friday should be a mainly dry day for you. Heading into your Saturday, it looks like we'll start you off dry. This particular model really overdoing Friday and Saturday. So we'll watch this, especially as we get closer for you. I think this is the main line that we're looking at, and this will be pushing through Saturday night into Sunday. Sunday, and then we'll keep those rain chances in for your Sunday. And that's going to be the real cold front that we're looking at because these cold fronts that we have over the past couple of days and for the one on your Wednesday night, the ones even into your Thursday as well, these cold fronts really not too strong. We're only bringing in rain chances behind it, still warm. Now into the weekend, I think by Sunday and especially by Monday as the front clears the area, some cooler air will be arriving across the area. So definitely take a look at our temperature trend. Still keeping things in the 80s regardless of that cold front pushing through on your Thursday, heading into your Sunday, 74 degrees, so a degree below average. Monday, only warming up into the 60s, and then we'll warm things right back up again. So for us tonight, partly to mostly cloudy and humid, a low temperature of 65 warm degrees for you. Also add in that humidity. For your day tomorrow, it'll turn less humid. We'll have a mixture of sunshine and clouds once again. Can't roll out an afternoon shower or a storm best chances look to be mainly south and east of the area. Seven-day forecast to show, again, those temperatures holding in the 80s with your rain chances in there as well. By your Monday, cooler as our high temperatures only reach the 60s.